side and so she definitely moves her arms and she does <laughs> yeah. and she does respond but I just don't we don't just don't hear her no yeah oh oh like when you zoom yes I know and that's because the trach is there and the trach size is a little bit too large uh, right now for her voice box to work. Yeah, I understand. And so I know, I know it's so it's so frustrating. It's it's frustrating more so for them um, to to not be able to tell and communicate with us. But um, but it, it will happen. It just it's a, it's very slow progress. So I just want to remind you guys that and just be cur- you know be be courageous for her. You know. And, and doctor, um, I did want to see if because she has just woken up out of sedation when she was recently transferred, we mm-hmm. really wanted to get a neuro- neurologist to evaluate her. If you could see if we could set that up, please. Um, okay. Did you were you looking for something in particular for the neurologist to to look for? Yeah, we would like for him to give us a a prognosis of what he feels may have been um, some of the damage that she may have suffered when she had a stroke. Okay. We want to know her, you know, what we, what her limitations are and what she will need a lot of therapy sure, on. Sure, sure. Okay, so when was she seen, she was seen by neurology when she was at St. Luke's, is this correct? They did, but they couldn't fully evaluate her because she was fully sedated. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so that that activity and that evaluation is a day to day progress, and you know, as long as she, if she is awake and answering questions, then she is cognitively there. You know, she can understand, and that that speaks volumes. Yes, ma'am. And so yes, ma'am. from from it's there, nice. it's more just kind of about rehabilitation. A lot of times, um, a lot of times we consult our neurology partners if we think there's a problem. And so we don't necessarily think that there's a neurology problem for Mrs. Guzman at this time because she's, she's um, achieving, she's making small achievements. Um, okay. So I will see, um, you know, if there, there hasn't been, um, that being said, because she's doing, making these small achievements, there hasn't been a need for us to consult neurology um, and that wouldn't necessarily be something that we do unless we were concerned for a problem. Well, that, actually, the, we were all concerned because of the stroke and the brain bleed. But we sure. So the neurologist, as as they were evaluating her during that issue, um, you know, they were going back and forth because they were unaware of what was causing her not to come out of sedation. So now that she's sure. out of sedation, you know, I'd like to get a little bit of an assessment of where she is right now, and I'd like to have a sure. neuro go over that with well, me, please. Well, they had also said that they were waiting for her to wake up to actually do the evaluation. I know, so it's kind of like we were up in the air. We've been left up in the air since her brain bleed and stroke. And then she woke up okay. and she was transferred. So that's to why I want her evaluated, it's because of that stroke. And I know maybe there's a okay. limited... What you know the scope of of you know evaluating her may be limited. Maybe that's what you're going to tell me, but that's yeah. what I wanted to hear if that's the case. Okay, so um, you know what I can tell you is a lot of times with the um, I will I will certainly be happy to run that question by my attending to see if they would they would like. Um, um, neurology to be consulted. I certainly will run that up the chain um, and see if they will agree to that and do that. Thank you. Thank um, you. But what we are what we are seeing is it does take a long time sometimes for these patients to wake up. The sedation ho- hangs around in pe- in the um, in our fat bodies in our fat stores, and and it just takes a long time to fully kind of exit the body. Um, and so you know patients that we have thought, oh my gosh, they don't have a good prognosis. A week later, two weeks later, they are waking up. Um, And so, you know, the fact that Mrs. Guzman has come around, and even patients who have had a brain bleed, there are so many patients who have had a brain bleed from this, and I think we we are thinking that it has to do with the COVID aspect and the the bleeding problems that come along with COVID. 